You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out a candy maker for you. This is the Susie Homemaker Sweet Shop, and it makes delicious candy. And we'll have to see about that as seen on TV. It looks like the kids are enjoying some giant lollipops. Makes all of these treats and many more. Now the ingredients are not included. This is something where you supply your own ingredients to make the candy. It is from 1968 Topper Toys. Let's check out this side of the box here. I do this because I just like to look at all the old artwork and the way they designed the box. Comes complete with heating unit, cooking pan, and candy mold. All right. This side now, we have seen this on other Suzy Homemaker boxes. If you've watched my videos, you realize I try to do all of the different makers that are out there for each company, and this one is one of the ones now added to that list. And then the back kind of shows you many of the items they have, and I've shown you quite a few of these. Now the vacuum and the iron and iron board I don't have. I've shown you the super grill, which really kind of heats like this one and works like this one, except this is the candy maker version. All right, so I am set. I have to get it out of the box. I have some pieces in there, some I have already washed. So when I come back, we will take a look at the unit and all of the pieces. All right, here we go. This is what it looks like out of the box. I will show you the main unit in a little more detail as I move things out of the way. Firstly, it is the instruction sheet, which is important to have. Even though it's discolored, it's still nice to see everything that came with it and then the supplies you would need. And in the back, shows you how to use it and then the ingredients to make the lollipops to make chocolate and then down here is the giant swirly lollipops I think for now I am going to stick with the lollipops that came with it in this little mold set so you put chocolates in here and it says topper and it's reversed and upside down so when you turn your chocolate over you will see the words and then you have the little Susie Homemaker there I'm not sure what this shape is exactly maybe they're just trying to fill up the room there but there's four lollipop shapes and then it came with the lollipop sticks. There were two sizes, the large and then the smaller ones. Let's move those out of the way. And then this is the little pan that I'm going to be cooking in. And then in the front, they have a couple little openings here for, I guess, little accents. Maybe if you want to put sprinkles or the nuts, if you want to put them in chocolate, maybe marshmallows. As you can see, it says Susie Homemaker or Candy Maker on the front. Okay, and then little Susie Homemaker there and the side. Not much there, but I will show you. This is how you take the base off from the lid. You just do that. And now you can get inside and clean it if you need to. So now that it's open, I will show you that. And then this is their safety plug. See where little fingers can't get behind it when it's plugged in. Here's the bottom. Not much to it. Very little there, actually. Ooh, let me move those out of the way. And then how does this work? Well, let me get this back on. This is actually a piece of, like, heat plastic, I think. I mean, there's not much more to it. So you can see through as you're cooking and making your candy. Okay. And I just need to make sure that the cord is there. Okay, so this pan is on the cooling side. I call that the cooling side. Let me give you a nice better shot of that. A little higher up. And then when you're ready and this is heated up, you slide this over and it goes into the cooking side. And now you can look inside as it's cooking. How cool is that? Remember, this is for kids. It's meant so that they can do this on their own without having to use a stove. Less chance of burning themselves with hot sugars. Uh, and that's why these toys were made. So let me uh, do this now. I will come back. I'm going to make the lollipops. So I will need to gather my ingredients, get all set here, maybe put something down on my countertop, come back, and we will start using our Susie Homemaker Candy Maker. All right, all set to make my lollipops. They use uh, sugar, light corn syrup, food coloring, and then flavoring, which I am going to do orange extract. That's why I picked these two colors. I'm hoping to make orange lollipops. So, step one, make sugar, syrup, and flavor extract. Okay, sugar. It is three teaspoons. One, 
two. Now I picked a clear bowl so we can see the color change better. That would aid in the color change. And then five teaspoons of corn syrup. Here we go. Five teaspoons. This is always fun. Now you can spray your measuring device here. One. But we'll just allot for the stuff that's going to stick. There is two. Now the oven is heating up in the background. There is three. They say 10 minutes. 10 or 15. Hmm. Well, either way, I think it was 15. I'll check. Either way, I have a timer set off to the side. Four. And then the last one. I'm going to go a little light on the last one because I was a little over the top on some of those. Okay, there we go. Let that drain while that's happening. Okay, and flavor extract, which is a quarter teaspoon. So like I said, I have orange flavoring. Maybe I can just scoop it. Uh-oh, this is really risky. Okay. Okay. And one or two drops food coloring for light lollipops and three or four for dark. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one red. Okay. And then two yellow. Let's see if that gives us a nice one, two. We'll see. We'll have to adjust accordingly. Okay, and then mix that and then put that into the cool pan. So let's get this over here and get that ready. Here we go. Well, actually, let's do this so you can get a nice close up of that mixing. It's always nice to see color change. Here we go. That's a nice bright orange. I like it. Mmm, smells good. It looks like a nice color. Okay, then, let's see. It says... Put into cool pan and cook in preheated pre -heated candy maker for 20 minutes. Here's my cool pan. I think I need a leveler here. I'm going to use this as my leveler to keep it level. Okay. And here we go. Let me switch tool. Well, let me get the first chunk of it out. Ah, that smells so good. All right, let me switch tools here. Uh, I thought, hmm, I'd try to do more in one video, but I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to make this today, and then I'm going to come back in another video and make some of the other items so that I can keep the videos in check for length. Not that I've ever worried about that. Okay. As soon as that heats up, we're going to move over now to our candy maker. And we are going to cook our sugar. All right, 15 minutes of heating. Now I'm going to give you the temperature so we see how hot this is. Actually, here, here's my back wall. About 75. Here is the surface. 215. 200. Let me do it one more time, make sure it's not hitting the plastic. Around 200. So, I, oh, 223. So we will see. Now I'm just going to slide this over. Now I need to set my time for... 20 minutes so here we go oops whoops oops timer 20. i'm gonna record the whole thing speed it up for you and i am set so this just slides over they just say make sure it's flat which it is and then i'll readjust here come back and give you a nice tap down look inside as it cooks
All right, it's been 10 minutes. I just want to take a quick look at it so we can see. Okay, nothing burning, so it looks like it's cooking down really nice. All right, another 10 minutes. Okay, there's about two minutes left, but I'm starting to see a major color change and looks a little darker. I think we're at that point where you can smell it like, hmm, it might be getting too done and I don't want to burn it. So let's move this out of the way completely. Let's bring this in. Oh, here, I'll tell you what, let me just, uh, well, that's a cutting pad. It should be okay there. Let's just do this and then I will... Pour it in, here we go. Now it's said to twist the popsicle sticks and make sure you get some on each one. It sure does heat it up pretty good. I'll adjust here once I see how much I have. Hopefully I can make four. Oh, I definitely want to do this one with the Susie Homemaker image in there. Okay, I should be able to squeeze the fourth one out. Okay, I think I can maybe scrape a little. Oh, you see it bubbling there? Let's get this turned in. That one's perfect. Okay, let's see if I can just get a little more in this one here. It's like almost at the point now where it's setting up too much. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm gonna let these dry. It says 20 minutes and then I will come back and then of course give them a taste. All right, I was about to take it all apart just to make sure everything was clean on the inside and then realize in the instructions they say you could take your plug and there's a little double notch there. You push this in and it aids in lifting that out so you can clean it much easier. Just thought that would be interesting to show you. All right, I'll be back in a little bit and then I'll give them a taste. All right, here we go. First test of the machine. I have made my lollipops. Now they look... Pretty good. Now it said bend the mold so that you can take them out. But I want to just kind of let you look at them. They look pretty nice. It's a nice orange color. No initial smell. When I was cooking, I definitely smelled it. I almost thought they started to burn, but it looks like they are okay. So here I go. I am going to twist and see. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? Like you saw the color change. Ah, numero uno, the heart. Let's see this Susie Homemaker one. Okay, look at that. So there's her little head that you see. It's even on the side here. It matches that. I can't wait to try one of these. All right, and then let's see this one here. It says toppers, I believe. It's hard to read, but there's something there. And then the last one is, oh, this one's the most intricate, of course. Don't break. Okay. Does not want to come out. But I want to taste these, so I will try to do that in just a second. All right, so yes, topper, topper, and then three little stars. I think I'm going to save this too. I'm going to taste this one here. And while I taste it, mm, nice orange flavor. These came out pretty good. Now, I am not done with this. I think I want to make more candy with it. So that's why I decided, hmm, maybe I just split this up into another video. Nope, that one's breaking. It's definitely more intricate. Let's see. There we go. I saved it. And make some of the chocolate candy and see how that turns out. So let me know if you want to see that. I would even consider making one of those giant lollipops. I wonder which one, yeah, I'll tell you what, let me put up a poll. You decide what I make next in this one. So I'll keep it out. Let me take a bite. 
Mmm. I think it's just as good as store-bought candy. It's got a really nice orange flavor. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Susie Homemade Maker Candy Maker. I'll put a poll up. Let me know. Do you want to see the giant lollipops or do you want to see some kind of chocolate candy? And thanks for watching. If you want to see more candy makers, I've got a huge playlist. Look in that description. And you know what? It would really help me out at Lucky Penny Shop if you go watch some of those old videos. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.